Ugh, damn. I'm almost out of breath. I guess I'm somewhat lucky. Although it depends on how you look at it. Hey, you silly dog day. Calm down and stop whining. You should thank me because I saved you from the tricks of our ex-friends, ha ha. Why are you saying this, Catnap? You know I don't remember anything about our friends, about our family. This is more like smirking and mocking. Poor little thing. You should rest. Ooh, are you so sure about that, Catnap? To be honest, I highly doubt that this will help me. Your mind is in complete disarray right now. You need to rest a bit to get back to normal. Don't be sad, crybaby. These are things of the past, and you can't do anything about it. You will be fine with me. Trust me on this, Dog Day. You are better here with me. Follow me, dear friend. You have nothing to fear as long as we are together. What are you standing there for, stupid dog? I told you to follow me. You see, it isn't so difficult. Here by my side, you have everything. You understand that, Dog Day, don't you? I can turn your life into paradise, and you'll never be haunted by nightmares again. Wait a minute. What are you up to, Catnap? You're not going to drown me in your red fog, are you? Seriously? You're really going to do this to me? This... This isn't a good idea, Catnap. Of course, Dog Day. You'll enter an amazing world where you'll always be happy. Don't worry. Uh, so can I have some water? Please? Of course, Dog Day. I'll fetch you some water right away and we can continue spending time together. Hey, Angel. I'm feeling oddly nervous. Hmm? Because you're about to be able to walk again? No, that's not it. Every time you're close to heart flutters, me, my, and it only happens in such case, Angel. So I think that I might have fallen for you. You may have anemia, I guess. Angel didn't get me. Don't be sad. Dog day, Angel will understand one day, I guess. It feels nice to have my legs back, but it still bugs me as of why Angel didn't get what I meant. It's because you spoke too quietly. Angel could hardly hear your voice. Both you and my Angel are cutely Navi. Don't worry, Angel. I'm not as weak as how you think, Lamb. Uh, um, I really believe in you, Dog Day. But your legs hasn't fully recovered. Such danger is coming near, and you still care about me? Angel, you're so endearing. I understand how good you must be feeling right now, Catnap, but I'm going to ask you to say my name. Dog, play! I'm sorry, I was just joking. Well, don't be mad at me. Oh, damn. Welcome to our first experiment with static electricity. Today, I'll be using a regular inflatable balloon and my dear friend Catnap. Are you ready? Hello, everyone. Today, my friend is using me as a prop in his first experiment. For this, he needed my silky fur. So yes, dog day, let's do this. Great, dear friend. Then I'm starting our experiment. <laughs> well, Catnap, how do you feel? Do you notice any changes in yourself? Evaluate your condition and share it. Oh, dog day. Honestly, I feel a bit strange. But at the same time, I'm getting warm and a little bit giggly. Ha ha! I think it's done. So, do you feel anything weird? I don't think it worked. I feel the same as before. Maybe you didn't do it, Rick. Maybe you forgot to like and subscribe to our channel and Dog Day? Quickly show your subscriptions. Okay, okay. Sorry, Catnap. I actually forgot to subscribe to Svag Play, but now I've subscribed and everything should work. Poof! Wow, it really worked. Well then, the experiment can be considered successful. How do you feel, Catnap? What are facts? I feel literally like a lightning bolt. <laughs> you look quite amusing, Catnap. Save it for yourself, dog play. <coughs> what the heck? Who dared to wake me up during my daytime nap? <coughs> okay, okay, silly little dog day. You can sleep with me. Just don't toss and turn. Otherwise, you'll turn into ashes. He fell asleep so quickly. Funny. Usually he runs around for hours trying to find a spot, but now he fell asleep in just a couple of minutes. Tut tut tut. I've been in this silly complex for quite some time now. Haven't found anything interesting here yet. It's just an old dusty place. Oh well. Seems like I was tricked into believing that some monsters live here. Ha ha.
darn. Hmm, what's that noise? Could there really be something here? Probably just rats? Or maybe I forgot to take my pills this morning. Haha. <laughs> that silly mannequin still hasn't seen me. Oh, it's so funny! Right now you're going to turn into ordinary ashes. Silly doll. Ha ha ha. Gotcha, silly cat. It's time to teach you a lesson you'll remember for life. Ha ha ha. Oh, damn. Why are you frozen? Are you scared? Ha ha. It seems like you know what this little thing is and what it does. What the hell? Who are you? Please stop it. Wow. Looks like it worked. Well, I must admit, you turned into quite a cute cat. Ha ha. What's wrong? Are you hungry? Or do you want me to pick you up and give you a good scratch? Oh, you want a treat? Enjoy your meal, catnap. It's lunchtime. Just two of you. You two keep going. Just ignore me. I'm not here and I never was. I'm literally a ghost. So forget about me and carry on. Hey, Dog Day. Hmm, what's up? Do you think... Yeah? Do you think you'd still want to be my friend when we're older? Huh? Where is this coming from? Is this another one of your grown-up questions? What brought this up, Catnap? I, I don't even know how to exactly respond to that question. Dog Day, when I think about the possibility that in the future we might stop being friends, it makes me feel really bad, very anxious, very bitter. I don't want that. Catnap? Hey, talk to me. I'm right here for you. I don't know why I'm thinking of this, but I just... I'm so scared. The future is so scary and unknown. Things change. We change. What if that makes us drift apart? We wouldn't hang out anymore. I wouldn't see or talk to you anymore. What if you just start to hate me? Ah! Sorry, it's stupid, I know. But I just can't get it off my mind. I just hate the idea of not hanging out with you anymore. Please don't worry, Catnap. We made a promise to each other, remember? Together and forever. If we don't forget about it, nothing will ever separate us. You understand? So we will be friends forever, Catnap. Oh, good morning, world. I finally woke up. Hmm. Didn't even know I could sleep for such a long time. Seems like I crashed out with the guys. Oh, right. We had a pajama party. I wonder if anyone else is awake. Phew, it's surprising that I woke up one of the first after our party. But funny enough, it seems like Dog Day was up first. Hmm. Perfect time for a prank. Haha. <laughs> hey, Dog Day. It seems like we're all alone here. Since everyone else is asleep, don't you find it amusing and at the same time intriguing? What? Ah, uh, mm-hmm. I'm not entirely sure what you're talking about, but yeah, it's funny that only we woke up. Especially you. Huh. Oh, damn. What's even happening? Seems like I really blushed. Hmm. I hope Catnap didn't notice. Are you okay if I lie down next to you, Dog Day? Oh, damn. If this continues, I'll just burn with embarrassment. Oh my god, I need to pull myself together urgently. Aww. Listen to me, doggy. You got this. You are the best player and captain in the whole university. Show everyone what you are of. And if you win, I'll reward you, deal. Yes, bro, I deal. Oh, darn. Why do I feel so sad and lonely? I... I don't know what to do. Hmm... Facts. Catnap, are you okay? You've been spacing out a lot lately. If you need anyone to talk to about it. Mm-hmm. I don't even know how to start a conversation with Dog Day. Oh, my poor head. I'm right here. So, what's the matter? Darn. I need to gather my thoughts and tell Dog Day about my fears, my concerns. I sincerely hope I can do it. I hope he understands me. Am I a good friend, Dog Day? Yes, of course you are. Why is that even a question? I just feel that maybe I'm not good enough? What if one day something horrible will happen, and it will be all my fault and in- What? You are always good enough, even if you do the bare minimum. Although, what did you mean by something horrible will happen? I've known you for so long now, and never have I seen you do anything remotely bad. If I'm being honest, you wouldn't even hurt a fly. Hours later. Thank you, Dog Day. However, I think I'm feeling kind of tired. Oh, I haven't even noticed how fast the time flew by. I hope that now you are feeling somewhat better. And if you still would need anyone to talk to after, don't be shy to wake me up. Oh, we had such a wonderful conversation. I'm so happy. It seems like now we'll be talking to Dog Day all the time. From there, the day was quite normal. We celebrate the Valentine's Day with the children. And everyone, they delivered their gifts. All but me. 
Catnap never arrived to the party, or to classes with Miss Delight. I went to his house, but neither I found it there. At least I hoped that he come to the slumber party, but he never showed up. Really keep going waiting for him. It is obvious that not will come. I left him a letter under the door of his home. Maybe he didn't know that we are here. Oh, maybe not wants to come. Is understandable. But neither can be left alone outside. Dog day. No, you can force it to come if him don't want. The only thing I wanted was to give him his Valentine's Day gift. Oh, dog day. I wish they will give me flowers. I guess you have reason. There will be another moment in which I can give the gift. Exact. Let's not worry for him. If he likes to be outside, is because knows what to do. Okay, I guess. And tell me, what happened to you? I still can't achieve understand it. Being honest, I neither... I mean, everything went so fast, it's hard for me to believe whether it happened or not. After school with Miss Delight, when I got home, there was a strange smoke, red. And the last thing I remember, he's waking up in the middle of the room with several bruises on me arms. I woke up with a feeling of fear, but I don't remember exactly about what. Come on, because I can't sleep! Hey, dog day! Ah! I, I felt that I was leaving Seoul. Be more careful, cat. Cat cat nap? It's you? Are you here? I'm so happy to see you. Where were you? I looked for you everywhere. Ah, take this. Wait there, do not go. Happy Valentine's catnap. I sincerely hope you like my gift, dear catnap. Have them, they are all yours. I know they are not the big deal, but I thought that you would like. He <laughs> he. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Dog Day. I'm so happy with your gift. It's so amazing and cool. Thank you. How do I know you very little? I didn't know that give you. So if you want something from me, tell me. I can give it to you. Teach me to stop smiling. Wait, what? Because you would want no smile as a gift? I scare everybody. W what? That's not true. Why do you think that? Bobby said that my smile is dark. I heard them. It, she didn't say it seriously. Believe me, just... She is somewhat stubborn at the time to trust someone new. And if they don't want to be my friends? Yes, they will be! They will be your best friends! What?! I'm going to make sure that they are! You will be welcome what you deserve! And if you didn't like them the flowers, I will look for you the best gift. Because you deserve it and... <clears throat> oh my gosh, what the heck? Once I now same, ha ha, it's joke!